So I write in a lot of different crazy ways. Like, so the first, like the first song on my album is a song called By Ourselves. And it ends with this like amazing uh, poem by someone called Miss Ashley Hayes, who did this poem called For Colored Girls in Praise of Missy Elliott. And there was this whole thing that was, it's so incredible just like about how Missy like empowered her. And so I like would think about that and I was walking around New York and I was listening to these Charles Mingus piano improvisations. And then there was this one segment when I was listening that came up and I was immediately just like, wait, what is he doing? Because, you know, he never goes back to like anything. And I was, and he really played piano anyway. And like blew my mind. And I like, so I you know, took note of the seconds and I went, like, went to the studio, found it, cut it up and it's like this crazy thing. So it was this and it's like. And from there, he like goes into some wow. like crazy shit. But like that moment I heard and I was just like, what the <laughs> f Like, oh my God. And so I then went to my studio, copied that, and I started like working on <clears throat> melodies that could go around it. Um, and so I kept that intro, the, I kept that, and then I changed it and so that this bit would repeat. So it was like a, so the melody I started coming up was like, Doo -doo. And so I'd loop it so like Took and scanned my name Tried to raise a feeling I saw right through and like made it this kind of like almost like chanting like group melody and added harmonies and then um the end of the song i decided to kind of rest in like the d minor and then my friend adam bainbridge who records his kindness who i you know work with a lot he's like i grew up with him good friend he then had an idea of this kind of like sax arrangement put it in and then I did like a cello arrangement over the top of it and then got my friend Jason asked to come through and he did these kind of like amazing like kind of like uh, like alto saxophone things. And I was trying to like, that mood to me, especially because of the Mingus sample, I started thinking of like Eric Dolphy and I wanted that like that crazy like Dolphy, like winding, piercing kind of like melodies and stuff. But, but yeah, that's just kind of like, how that one came. example of how my brain works and how things like come about because they're done in like crazy ways. Such a cool process. Have you, um, I'm sure you heard of uh, Junior. Junior? Yeah. I don't know actually. He used to sing this song called Mama Used to Say. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you heard like his music music? No. Yeah. Oh, damn. You dig it. Okay. Also, you, you, you know Don Blackman. Yes. And? Is there any, do you, do, you, do you like his music? Yeah, I do. I never really like properly studied. Like your, like, your, the, way you've, um, the way your melodies like weave in the chord mm. just now reminds me a lot of him. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, and he had Thank the you. crazy, crazy chord changes. Insane. Yeah. Insane. Yeah, I love that stuff, man. It's just like, I'm just always trying to make it interesting. I want every like switch up to be not only interesting, but I want it to be like pleasing. Yeah. You know, when yeah. it like goes to those moments, I want it to be like, yeah, you know, and that's like, I mean, like you do that. I, like, I attempt, you know, I get that like from you and like, and like Tyler does that. I love, man, Tyler's chords That is crazy to me. And like, I feel like it doesn't get spoken about 
Like people don't talk about. Yeah, he's super talented. The chords he hits. Yeah. It's crazy. <laughs> so I love that, you know, the, like people that can do that, but then also make it something like listenable and really enjoyable. That's what I look to. Well, I think you're doing it. And by the way, this is like my favorite part of the show when I get to watch you two talk in some other language that I don't even understand. <laughs> But I, but I actually understand it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, in all of the, um, all of the senses, there are equal, equal degrees of um, sp spectrum, whether it's music notes, you know, from C to C, or it's colors, you know. There's like grades in every sense, even in like feeling. You know, there's things that are soft, there are things that are rough, hard, coarse. And in all of the senses, there are these, there, there are these degrees so that when two different kind of artists from two different disciplines speak, they know what each other's talking about, mm -hmm. even if you're not able to do it or, or sometimes not even be able to communicate it, but you can sense you can sense how people see things, even in food, right? S sweet to sour, you know, smells, foul to sweet. Like yeah. there's just all these degrees. And in, in, in things visual, it's in color. And feeling, you know, it's like textures. In music, um, they're, the, they're the color degrees. And even when you get sophisticated and get into like chord structures and things, it's like, there are degrees, or you talk about like clothes and like patterns or whatever, mm -hmm. like there's just degrees. But the artists who are listening, they understand that. And I think most everybody else, if they don't necessarily understand it in a communicative way, they at least can feel and discern what we're saying. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I always believe that. I always, like I always think that the audience isn't as dumb as people make them out to be. At all. Like people like to think the audience is dumb and like give them like all the sugar they want and like, but, but they're not, you know? They can. They know. They know. 